And you've mentioned, uh, you mentioned Transportation Benefit District. Um, are there other, um, other types of funding sources that you have thought about that could be potentially used for things like the pedestrian master plan? Well, we are somewhat constrained by what the state allows the city to levy taxes on. So we'd have to go back to the state legislature and ask for, I believe, other revenue sources with the possible exception of the MVT because I believe the county and the city may both be able to levy that tax. And it's a question of the way, I guess, the way the state legislation is written, who gets there first or when you can split it. So I, I think that there's some ambiguity as far as our ability to tap that. Um, transportation benefit, uh, I mean, district, um, I don't think has those constraints, as, at least as much. Um, the other, you know, we, it's sort of funny, the, the commercial parking tax was something that uh, Victor, I mean, uh, Peter Steinberg and I brought up four years ago or five years ago about proposing it. And we met a lot of resistance and we, we brought it up twice and dropped it. So now that's in place, I just hate to see that money being used for some of these projects that do not benefit the whole city. So I would say that it's not just a question of identifying the revenue sources, it's having the commitment to use those revenue sources for a holistic approach. Because if we go down the road, of doing a transportation benefit district, and it's just going to be used for a couple few projects that have limited use. Why do that? Yeah. We we have to think about uh, meeting the goals in the master plans that we're doing. We're a little bit over time, but I think um, there's one more question. Do you support the affordable housing levy, and would you have done anything different in designing the levy package? Um, I support it, and uh, when it came down to the mayor's office, I actually did make some changes, and uh, the other council members were uh, very supportive of it. Uh, increased the percentage for the very low income, 30%, under 30% median income from 50 to 60, and capping above the uh, 60 to 80 at 10%, and that was, got unanimous support from the council members. I also had language included, which extends out the affordability uh, period of time, many of the um, many of the tax incentives and programs that we use for building uh, affordable housing and low-income housing have um, built into them um, limits uh, 20 to 30 years, sometimes as narrow as 20, um, and uh, had language inserted to look at longer term. I would have changed it. I would have tweaked it a little bit more to make it stronger in that area to, to basically move down the road of looking at 50 to even 99 years. Um, I had an experience of living on land trust property, and I can say that it's allowed people who would never have an opportunity to live on Capitol Hill to live on Capitol Hill because my house is located, stabilize the rent. And the key, I think, in the long in, in the distance uh, future or the immediate future for building low-income housing is keeping it low-income housing. It doesn't do any good if you use programs that depend too much on what's called federal tax incentive programs because then there's a fast turnover, fast turnover being to 27 years or less than that. Where if you use a land trust model or a covenant on the land model, then you can retain that housing for a longer period of time. You actually help out more families because they can eventually move. And you can do this for both single family and multiple family. And on the uh, single family, if they sell the property, which they, they can sell their house, it's called limited equity. So they get some money, but the bulk of the, uh, of the equity remains in the public, and therefore the housing remains affordable in the far future. So, But otherwise, uh, I think it was, a, it was a good plan. I mean, one would argue we could have used more money, but quite honestly, I think given the economic, situ the economic situation, I think you know, we had a pretty good balance that I think will uh, be voted in favor of by the majority of people in Seattle. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. It was very invigorating. <laughs> Thank you. Yes.